Welcome to Fountain Pendulum and thank you for watching. The subject before us today is loops and their relationship with our fountain pens. So today we're going to be covering um, the difference between a loop and a magnifying glass and uh, what a loop is exactly, how it's useful and helpful to look at your fountain pens up close and I'll be recommending two different brands of the loops that are that come highly recommended by Nibnisters and um, other fountain pen enthusiasts that use them as well. So first of all, here we have a loop and a magnifying glass. This magnifying glass came unlabeled as far as its uh, power of magnification, and often that is the case. Um, however, generally speaking, Magnifying glasses usually come in 2x to 6x, so two times to six times the magnification power of what your naked eye can see. Whereas loops come between 10 to 20, and you might even be able to find some that are above that possibly. So let's just start off by um, taking a look. This is a uh, vintage 400 Pelican. So if I wanted to take a look at this nib for various reasons, um, that is about what I'm going to be able to see clearly with my naked eye. Now if I add magnification, that's what we're looking at. So this is actually quite helpful and there's a lot of details that I'll be able to pick up on this nib just with a magnification glass, magnifying glass, that um, would be very helpful. However, a loop is far more powerful. This is a 10x. I'm not sure what the power again of my magnifying glass was. So a lot more details visible there. So in addition to looking at your nib, um, obviously there's various reasons you might want to see different writings and markings on your pen, and these are all these are all useful things. So, a loop would be used up close. Uh, you hold it close to your face and you view it out of one eye. Um, and the view is actually a shorter focus length than a magnifying glass also. Um, this particular loop is the style of a folding loop. So they are very compact, much more compact than magnifying glasses, and um, it's really neat because you can store it and use it easily being so small, and also because it's a folding, it protects itself, which I think is very important. You don't want to get the lenses all uh, scratched up. The um, two brands that I'll be covering today are... Um, somewhat well-known and um, they have a really good reputation, but they're also somewhat of a small investment. So if you were to in a, you invest your money in getting one of these, you definitely want to make sure that it's well taken care of. So I think the folding loops are great for that reason too. When they're in storage, they're not going to be getting all scratched up. So uh, another reason why these are more advanced and more expensive, more of an investment than a magnifying glass, beside the fact that they make everything look larger than a magnifying glass, is um, they are, this is a triplet. They also come in quadruplet, but that means the amount of magnifying glasses, basically, that are within this loop. So a triplet being three, it has three, um, magnifying glasses basically 
or three lenses within this loop. Uh, and of course, the quadruplet would have four. So a couple more things. Uh, it's achromatic. Um, I didn't know what that meant, so I looked it up. And basically, it can transmit light without separating the colors. So we think of that a lot with like the whole color um, spectrum and pyramid and how I, th I think that's really interesting technology and the ability to do that. It has color balancing or color correction in it as well and an anti-reflection property. So um, those are some of the significant, um, I guess, advancements of using a loop versus just something that's not as high quality. Um, jewelers use them a lot and stamp collectors, people that take a look up close at insects. So, you know, loops aren't um, specifically for, obviously for fountain pens, but they're definitely used very frequently in our industry, especially by nibmeisters um, that would be um, tuning, fixing, grinding, um, the fountain pen nibs and definitely um, these would be huge in the vintage market because um, there's a lot more detail on a vintage pen that you'd want to be concerned with than with a modern pen. You get your uh, modern pen and you might have the model and brand um, you know stamped into the pen. Usually it's pretty visible by the naked eye likewise with vintage. However, I find that there are often very small writings, just like here, that I would be squinting to see to the naked eye. Um, I can see the OB pretty clearly, but the rest of the writing there um, is difficult to pick up by the naked eye. So um, in the vintage market, it's very popular and common to use to make sure that there's um, authenticity with the pen that you're considering. But I use it a lot with vintage pens, not so much looking at the authenticity of the pen, though that can be applicable, of course, but taking a closer look at the nibs. So um, when I'm looking at my own pens, it might be that I'm just simply admiring the grind of the nib, the details of the nib, um, maybe the material perhaps, but sometimes if I'm writing and I feel a snag or the nib feels a bit scratchy or something like that, I can take the loop and I can look at it and often I can identify what is happening in there. If there's some fluff in there, if the tines became misaligned, if the gap is becoming large and it requires some maintenance or some tuning. So these are all things that uh, would be a good uh, use for a loop using your fountain pen. Um, if you have a loop, um, put in the comments below what you use your loop for with fountain pens. <laughs> And um, we're gonna go into some more details. So this is the loop I got that came recommended by several Nibmeisters. So once I heard from more than one Nibmeister, just doing a little research when I wanted to purchase a loop, that the Bellamo was a good brand, I looked it up in line and it definitely looked like a sturdy uh, loop and I decided to go ahead and purchase it after some time. So this is a triplet, it's a 10X. They come in 10, 12, 15, and uh, 20 also. So if you're gonna purchase uh, one of these, they have them on their own website. So that would be um, the Bellamo website. And they actually offer free worldwide shipping and tracking with their um with their loops so that's bellamostore.com 
and it's a little bit of an investment, but they're quite affordable. They're, you're looking at um, about $40 to get one of these. So, um, yeah, depending on which magnification. The steps of the magnification on their website, um, if you're going to get more than a 10, is only incremental. So if you're interested in getting something that's a stronger, the price difference isn't that big of a jump. <clears throat> so I'll go into pricing a little bit more later. Um, so everything is uh, very precise and clear uh, as you would see the original object. And um, this uh, is the 10. That's what was recommended by the Nimmeisters. If I was to purchase it again, I would probably get a 12, maybe a 15. Um, that's my instinctive feeling, but I've never actually tried a 12 or 15. So maybe there's a reason um, to get a 10 that I just am missing or that I don't understand because I haven't used multiple sizes. Um, either way, this is very sufficient. Um, it's much more um, helpful than just having a magnifying glass for sure. So um, you can pick, again, you can pick this up on their website. They also have them on, on Amazon. So for ease of purchase, I know a lot of people like purchasing on Amazon. If you're getting the 10 or the 12, the price difference from the Belmo website to Amazon is somewhat negligible. It's just a, t a couple dollars difference. Um, this one I think is 35 on their website and on Amazon it's 38. And then um, like the 12, mag uh, 12 magnification would be 39 on their own website and 43 on Amazon. So um, not a big deal there. However, if you're interested in getting the 15 or 20 magnification, you definitely would want to go to their direct website because those, um, the price is pretty, uh, pretty much of a big jump. So the 15 would be 40 on the website and 50 on Amazon and, um, the 20, uh, sorry, that was for the 20. And then the 15 would be 35 on their website versus 50 on Amazon. So that's just the prices for when this video was shot. It might change. But either way, just uh, respectfully, um, I think their website is a very good source to go ahead and get these. And then another brand um, that I actually don't have, but I've heard really good things about that I would recommend also is... Um, other than the Bellamo brand, would be Grobet, I believe it's pronounced. I wasn't able to find a website for that, but they are available um, on Amazon for actually the same price as the Bellamo on the 10 magnification. Um, it's about $38. So the difference is, um, I think they're both tremendous quality, but the Grobet would have um, lighting built into it. It's a four LED uh, violet, ultraviolet lighting, and it also comes with a leather case. So that's that's pretty cool. I wasn't uh, um, familiar or aware of that brand when I purchased mine, but that also has been recommended by Nimmeisters, and I've heard a lot of good things about that one too. Um, I'll speak for this one since that's the one I have. Um, it's very rugged and heavy duty. Um, the casing on it is metal, so very strong, very sturdy. It has um, kind of a slightly um, added texture to it, so I think that helps from getting any kind of chips or anything like that on it. Uh, made in Belgaris. So again, it's a folding style. When I first got this, I found it to be a little too tight for my liking, so I just got a small compact um, flathead screwdriver and loosened it up a little bit so that I can open and close it with ease. So you can adjust that to your personal liking, but um, 
yeah, it's it's held up really nicely. I will say if you're using either um, a magnifying glass or a loop, it's really helpful to use a um, glass cleaning cloth, either one from eyeglasses, like an eyeglass cleaning cloth, or uh, one for windows and mirrors, like this one is, um, just because when you're using them, especially if you're going to be doing any photography, so like, um, or videos, and any um, macro shots, you can get um, some fingerprints on them or some fluff or whatnot. So just wiping this down or wiping the magnifying glass down really helps to keep everything crystal clear. And I use it on the lenses too, <laughs> just to keep everything um, nicely in focus. So those are some recommend uh, recommendations for the loops and how that can be helpful in your fountain pen journey. And as always, thank you for watching.